Today I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of the house. See birds? The birds are flying. You okay? Hey guys, I am Arlette Hardy, blogger and joy strategist from chasing-joy.com. And I'm back. I know it's been such a long time since I did a video. But I have been busy being a mom. Uh, baby Joy Chaser got sick. Um, he got that hand, foot, and mouth thing. Then I got it, which is extremely rare, and it was awful. Then I was speaking at the Blacks in Government Conference. And um, leading off, oh, I forgot the most important thing. Leading up to that, I bought the house. I think the last video, um, I talked about the potential to be able to buy a house. Well, I bought the house. The sale of my house fell through. So, yay me. I get to have two mortgages for right now. Um, but I'm trying to focus on the positive And that I have this wonderful home that I'm really happy about. Um, after speaking at the Blacks and Government Conference, we finally moved in. Then we were kind of getting settled. And then I had a housewarming. And now we're just into regular life in our new home, uh, approaching Thanksgiving. And some of you had asked me for a home tour of the new house who've been, who follow me closely on social media. If you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, then you know all of what I just said. You know about, um, actually, I don't know if you know that I got sick, but you know that the baby, you probably know that the baby was sick. You know, I spoke at the Blacks and Government Conference. You know, we moved in and you know that I had a housewarming. So today I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of the house. Um, it is just a regular day in the house, so it is not necessarily camera ready. But I am leaving tomorrow to go visit family for Thanksgiving. And I realize if I'm waiting for the house to be spotless, you guys are never going to get a tour because housekeeping is not my ministry. <laughs> so it will likely never be spotless, but... Um, today you guys can get a tour and see what it looks like on like just a normal, regular day. So here we go. Okay guys, so if you're wondering, the guy who had walked by my car that I waved to, he was just putting a menu in for a local restaurant. Um, but anyway, I'll show you the front of the house. And one of the most exciting things is I have parking. This is a twin house, so I do have to share a wall. But other than that, this house had everything I wanted. I have a lawn. Um, hopefully, I'm, I'm trying to not have my address in here. So <laughs> you can see this side of the house, and you can see the hookup for, I have central air, and you can walk all the way around to the back um, through here if it's um, when it's not locked. Oh, and here's my bench. You might remember that from the other house. It was actually an outside bench, but I was using it for inside because I didn't have a lot of um, space in the other house. All right, so we're going to go in now. Yeah, that's the menu. <laughs> the guy just dropped off there. Okay, so we are in my house. So I have closets right when you come in, a cloak closet, which is nice. I did not have that in my other house, uh, my old house. This door is the garage. I'll show you guys that last. Um, so as you come in, I have a desk. You're going to see some boxes because <laughs> we're still not quite fully unpacked. Um, we have a security system, mirror, hi, uh, some cat toys and towers for peanut and buttercup. And this is where I usually put my purse and my keys. Um, you guys probably know my niece lives with me, so I've been trying to teach her, like, you know, things like keys and purse you want to keep in the same place all the time so you don't have to waste time looking for them. So on this table, you can see, like, these Jenga pieces. This was from um, the housewarming. I had the people sign the Jenga instead of, like, a guest book, and someone gave me this home 
um, love makes this house a home sign. I'm going to eventually hang up. Um, <laughs> that lamp, the, uh, the previous owners left there. I have to buy a lamp for over here. Um, there's no overhead lighting in this room. Um, anyway, I put, I bought these blocks on Amazon. They're really cheap. Um, cause I wanted a place to start to show all my shot glasses. That's what I collect when I travel. And then there are my initials and some pictures and keepsakes. Um, this is an ottoman thing that my cats have destroyed. <laughs> Another cat tower. And then this is, um, this is our living room area. The previous owners left that grandfather clock, which is awesome. Um, uh, so this is the room where I'm trying to not have any toys so that you know eventually whenever i start dating again i have a little bar um, but whenever i start dating again i have a place that's not filled with toys i can sit and have like an adult conversation there's no tv in here right now i don't think i'm going to put one in here but maybe and I'll, i plan to film more videos from here you know you can see my pictures this baby joy chaser i have to finish his frame because he's um almost 19 months now those are my parents this is my mom, and that's Baby Joy Chaser. All right. So now, so, oh, so when I moved in, I got these floors redone. So this is um, vinyl, I believe. Yes, vinyl floors. And there's Peanut. Hi, Peanut. The cats like the new house. They're used to it now. They were a little nervous at first. So we'll go to the back, and then we'll go in these side doors. So this is the dining room area. It looks crazy because I am packing so I have a bunch of clothes down here. <laughs> My clothes are baby joy chasers for, um, we are packing to, like I said, go out of town for Thanksgiving. This is where, when I did my housewarming, I had a popcorn bar set up over here, but it's just a normal dresser and mirror. Um, and this is like a family room area, so you'll remember these couches, or this couch at least, from my previous videos. All baby joy chasers toys. He doesn't really... I don't spend any time in this playpen, but it's a good place to store the toys when he's not playing with them. Um, we do have a TV in here. I have to get a bigger one because this room is so much bigger. Um, so maybe after Black Friday <laughs> or for Black Friday. Um, oh, and then there's another cat tower, of course. And more toys. And I'll show you guys really quickly the backyard which is pretty big. You've probably seen if you follow me on um, Instagram. I've shown Baby Joy Chaser out here playing. We have a nice shed um, where like the lawnmower is. And my nephew has been taking care of my lawn, which he's been doing a wonderful job. Um, you can see back to the front. Okay, so continuing the tour, back in we go. I have a ceiling fan here. I like that these ceiling is kind of high in here. Uh, okay. So here is my kitchen, which will need to be cleaned before I leave today. Um, peanuts down here eating. This is like all the cat stuff here. This is snacks left over from my, uh, my housewarming. And of course, the obligatory saving of the plastic bags. I got to find a better storage for that. Um, and... Baby Joy Chaser's job is to feed the cats, so he can go in there, he gets the cans out and their dishes. And I have a dishwasher now, which I didn't have in the old house. Um, and you know, the normal stuff, microwave, um, my toaster oven behind my, <laughs> my lunch bags. And oh, and I put a TV in here, which is really convenient for when I wanna cook. Baby Joy Chaser can be in here watching TV and not far in the other the house like previously. So it's a lot easier for me to get more things done during the day. Oh, we finally hung up some pictures. Um, so this is, I'm trying to be quick, my college graduation. My parents got married when I was 25. I know there's a bit of glare. So this is their wedding day. We went to um, City Hall and I was the best man, bridesmaid, or I guess maid of honor, and the photographer person, <laughs> and I made them go to the fountains and take nice pictures. This is my cousin. Um, I believe she goes by Golista on Instagram. Follow her. She has a Poshmark store. And of course, there's Baby Joy Chaser. This is his most recent uh, photos at about seven, 16, 16 or 17 months old. That's his one year. 
more pictures. This is my nephew who's now like 16 or 17. My other nephew is like 14 or 15. Me and baby Joy Chaser, more baby Joy Chaser. This is my uncle. This is my brother and his kids. This is my dad and my nieces when they were little. This is the one who lives with me now, who's like a whole grown up. Um, me and my dad dancing and me and uh, baby Joy Chaser's godmom who um, is goes by LM Original Designs on Instagram. She um, makes scarves and bags. So this is a laundry room, which of course I didn't have at the other house. Um, and I love that it's like a whole separate room. I used to, at the other house I had um, like a portable washer that I could come connect to my sink and I had like an electric dryer that didn't really work that good. Storage closet, didn't have a storage closet at the other house. So I didn't have space for places like the, you know, a place to put things like the vacuum. And this is a powder room, which it's nice to have a powder room down here um, because it's just easier to, you know, help the baby like wash his hands and stuff. We don't got to go all the way up. And I love this picture of him when he was a few months old, <laughs> digging in his nose. I'm sure I'll leave that there until he's old enough to be embarrassed by it. Okay, up we go. So it's like two steps, I guess two small flights of steps, and then a small little hall area. So this is the cat's bathroom. I had posted on Facebook asking people where do they keep their litter boxes, and someone mentioned having one of these, so I bought one, and it's been great. Because you can see everything else is pretty open. There's no cool place to really keep a cat's box. So this is like a little guest room. And I told you my niece is staying with me. So she's been in here. I'm not gonna show too much. Invade her privacy. This is baby Joy Chaser's room. Like I said, it's a bit messy because I'm in the middle of packing. These are clothes here that I brought home from his daycare that he's outgrown. And you know, the normal stuff in a huge closet, which is really nice. Okay. Then we have another bathroom here, which is really like for the baby. I picked like a whale <laughs> design that you can see. There's like a whale on the floor and everything. This is a linen closet. Another thing I was not blessed with in my old house. And then my room again, which is kind of crazy because I'm in the middle of things. Um, but what sold me on the house was my own bathroom in my bedroom. I hate sharing a bathroom. And so I have my own bathroom now, and I love it. It's just a shower stall, but I'm a shower person anyway. So I'm super excited. And I have a walk-in closet. So I have lots more storage. And I have my artwork up. And I love this bowl I got for my housewarming. It's just beautiful. And really quickly before my tape runs out. Well, I guess I should say the video. <laughs> I'm showing my age by saying tape. Uh, I'll show you if I can get there. Well, it's probably going to have to reset. Okay. So I wasn't moving fast enough. Ran out of memory. But anyway, I'll show you the garage. which is still filled with things <laughs> that need to be unpacked and put away. Uh, but if you would have saw this when we moved in, it was crazy. So this is actually gonna end up being where I keep all of my Chasing Joy stuff um, so that it's not in the house taking up a lot of space like it was in the other house. You can see my sign. And <laughs> this dresser was in the other house, and um, I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it, but then my niece said, oh, you could put it in a garage for storage for the Chasing Joy stuff. And I was like, oh, you're right. So, and this is baby stuff that the baby is outgrown that I'm packing up to put in the attic. So, yeah, there's still boxes here. Some boxes that will be, like, these will be, need to be broken down and put into the recycling. Um, and other things that just need to be stored. So guys, that is the house, and I'll just show you, I guess this is the inside of the, the doorway, and usually when I come in, I take my shoes off over there, I need a mop right there, I see. Um, I switch to my, just walking around barefoot, or into my um, slippers that are inside only. 
And there you have it. That's it. That is the house. Like I said, it's not super clean right now. It's pretty messy because I'm, you know, just in the midst of getting ready to get out of here. Um, I'm going to try and straighten up before I leave, though. But you have seen the house. I didn't want to hold off for it to be, like, spotless for you guys to get a tour because you probably would never get a tour. Um, but I'm super happy here. I love the house. Um, it's really been amazing and such a blessing to be here. Um, last Thanksgiving, I'm going to try to find a video, but last Thanksgiving, I visited my aunt, the same place I'm going, and I went through a walk, on a walk with Baby Joy Chaser through their nice neighborhood, and I was like praying with intention about wanting to be in my own space that was just as peaceful as where they are, and a year later, here I am, so, and I did, and then I did a, a live, I did a, um, a Facebook live while I was doing that. And here we are a year later, and I'm just saying, God can do amazing things. Like, I did not expect for this to happen so fast. I thought I was going to be preparing to move for in a couple of years with the goal of moving before, you know, the baby was school age. Um, and yeah, here we are. So I'm super happy and thankful and blessed, and um, we're much more settled and getting into routine. So you'll be hearing from me more often. Um, sorry for the hiatus, but at least I got this video for you guys. And I bought these pillows. There are two of them. And it says, this is my happy place. And I got these at Macy's. And this house is my happy place, guys. So thank you for joining me on the tour. Hope the video wasn't too long. I tried to be quick. Um, and stay tuned for more from me. And you can always catch up with me on social media. I am Chasing Joy all one word on Instagram and Chasing Joy on Facebook. And I'm not great on Twitter, but I'm chasing underscore joy there. So um, feel free to email, direct message, I am whatever. Um, I'm pretty responsive to you guys when I can be. And leave your comments below. Let me, no, I was going to say tell me what you think of the house. Tell me how much you love the house. If you don't like the house, then I don't need that comment. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye.